Hi. Okay, so it's been a while. Um, sorry. Um, I am going to like again meet you um, in one of these like darker emotional contemplative moments like sorry that it has to be that way it's just like that's when I like feel something real like feel that I want to get something out Um, I mean, as usual, it's just me kind of trying to deal with, like, existential, excuse me, like, existential reckoning and the rest of the world and, um, I always talk from this perspective of being an INFP because as a neuroscientist, as a psychologist, as a person, it's what makes sense to me and what is consistent and it's the only thing I've found that can really explain like just why like my experience is like this and why it's so different from the experience of other people and like sorry I'm gonna like drink and eat and stuff while I'm doing this and like like don't get me wrong like so much of the time I will be um quite optimistic about things but there like there are so many obstacles to face um oh yeah I was I was going to say like like that that first video I made about INTPs and rationals um like I have an INTP friend and like I was trying last year to explain to him different patterns about like why he is the way he is and why I'm the way I am and people I'm like I just I start talking about Young or MBTI and um like he just is like like condescend like as condescending as you can imagine, just laughing me off because MBTI is like discredited within mainstream psychology which is like so much of my problem in science is constantly challenging, you know, what are the the paradigms that people choose to uh, develop consensus over what are the ones they choose to reject and why, what should people be re-examining and it's like in any system the second that you like think for yourself and go rogue everyone just like freaks out and thinks you're like retarded I can use that word and uh or crazy or, or some like bull BS like that which like therein like not lies the nature of the problem like I'm just like uh I, like I think it does have a lot to, with be to do with being an INFP but like I'm always seeing things seeing deep deep truths in things 
that other people can't see and it, and it like it freaks them out and it like makes them hate me a lot of the time and it freaking hurts um one thing i was going to talk about was like i have this intj friend and um He's like he's been doing so well lately. Like he bought this great house and he was uh doing well, like founding this company with his business partner. And uh then recently like he just blocked me without warning and I didn't know why. And then I, I found out recently that, like, he said his business partner, like, wanted him to engage in, like, some shady dealings. And, um, he, he was too ethical for that. And, like, this, like, whole situation, like, exploded, and he turned on him and tried to accuse him of all of this false stuff. And he has evidence to the contrary, and, like, he's wrapped up in this lawsuit, but because this partner has pushed him out, he's going to lose his house. And, like, he's just going through some stuff. And, like, I had this long conversation with him. And it just, like, it made me, like, see him as an, in a new light. Like, made me see him as, like, like more of, like, his humanity. And, like, you know, like, I, I've known him forever. And, like, I've, like, I've thought he's, you know, kind of liked me. So, you know, I told him, you know, like, if you want to go out, um, like, we should, and, like, for all these reasons, and, uh, like, we did, and, um, like, it just, I don't know, like, I guess, like, I should learn to trust my feelings, because there's always so much validity in them, but, like, I, like, I didn't, I didn't feel very good about it, like, different things, like, going into it, and, um, like, we had a date, and, like, it went well, and, like, it ended well, and we talked and stuff, and we went out, um, and, like, uh, this guy is, like, Like, not that this, like, is anything to do with it, but maybe he's, like, half Chinese, half black, and, like, he's lovely. Um, but, like, he was showing me this thing called The Five Rings, which is this book, um, this, like, Chinese warrior mentality philosophy and the five rings, like, I'm sorry if like, I get this at all wrong, but it, like, it's earth, wind, fire, water, like, you think of, like, the four elements, and then the fifth one is, like, the void, and, um, when he was playing it, like, they talked about the first four, and then they, they mentioned the void, and I, like, I, like, snickered, just because, like, I thought it was, like, cute. I thought it was funny that there's, like, these four material elements. And then there's just, like... Oh, and then, like, the absence of the material elements. So, like... He messages me, like, a day or two later. And he's like... So, like, why did you snicker about that? And, like, I tell him... You know, this one is, like, different, and I just thought it was funny. Like, doesn't matter. Um, and, like, 
It made him defensive. Um, and like he like like goes into like this whole thing about how if you understand thermodynamics it's thermodynamics um so like that right there um but anyway he said that, you know if you understand these physical dynamics then like you understand like the force that a vacuum creates and how it interacts with these other things and i'm like yeah like i get it i respect it it's just funny because the other ones are physical are a physical presence of energy and particulate material and this one is the absence i just laughed like it doesn't matter but like it made him so upset and like i keep telling him like i'm grateful and i respect this but like i'm not gonna like and like he keeps like calling me like pedantic and stuff and i'm just like look like i'm not gonna lie like it's just like this silly thing it's just something i noticed like get off my case (sighs) um but yeah like it made it made him like really upset and like um he like he always like seems to be like to be like so cool and like like gets along great like has like parties and friends and stuff I mean like he's had like different problems with different people but like he's a veteran as well and like he deals with like some some PTSD sort of stuff and like he's like this IQ test and he just like Like I said, he's an INTJ. He, like, thinks that his, like, problem is that maybe he, like, falls, like, on the, like, autistic spectrum somewhere. And, like, I've always just told him, like, you know, like, you're so sensitive, you're so aware, you're so analytical. Like... And, like, he'll talk about, like, different things. And I'll say, like, I mean, I think maybe it has to do with, like, being an INTJ. Um, or, or like, something else. is It's just, like, in all of my experience in education, it's not consistent with, with those on this spectrum. His personality. It is consistent with being, like, really INTJ, though. Um, and like he's like he's always been very agreeable about it and I'm just trying to help um like on our on our date like which like does like worry me is uh, like I don't know like he started talking about like being worried about like World War three and like the Russians uh like nuclear sabotage whatever um details about it and like i tried to tell him about how like you know like each personality has you know sort of its strength and its deficit and like why it's structured this way with the main function and then the second and third function which are pretty balanced which are either perceiving or judging but for an INTJ they're judging and then the fourth function is sensing and is in balance so they have this like perceptual imbalance and just the way that they are as well like it just it can lead to paranoia and like how my stepfather was an INTJ and he was brilliant but like he would just get like grossly paranoid about different things like the whole Y2K thing like back before the millennium change um like he like went nuts over that 
and um I, I was just telling him you know like just think about it like that you don't necessarily have to like torture yourself like this because like all of these potential eventualities like they aren't necessarily true like it's not necessarily worth torturing yourself and like I like kind of broke down a little bit I mean just like trying to be open about like how I feel people perceive me and like my dealings with the world when like I don't know like we were all like we were polite at the time but like after this like five ring things happened um he um uh like he was like bringing up things like this this story I shared with him this is like a whole other thing that I like I won't like fully get into now but one thing that happened at my last workplace was that I was at this university and I was in this AI classroom and um, I was just sitting in on a lecture like my boss said that I could and um, I was reading this book on Gödel's theorem, you know, that's basically implying that you should question the axioms, the axiomatic framework. Um, in mathematics, of any any logical system, because you cannot understand. A system completely from within its own axiomatic framework and this particular type of logic um, meant that you had to uh, assume that an illogical statement was true which is weird, right? Like, if a statement doesn't make logical sense, then you assume that it's true, and it just has consequences. And, like, I was just, like, trying to, like, ask him, because you can rewrite these statements so that you can just write them explicitly. It's, like, a little bit longer, but without using that axiom about the consequences of the axiom, and, like, the professor just like assumed that I was an idiot and that I was wasting his time and I, I tried to ask the question again and he just like didn't get it and just was really mean and like ended up like trying to like kick me out and like tell my professor and uh it like basically like destroyed my career like my professor like it's like it's so like crazy and weird like he, he was in ENTJ and like he's done this before to friends but he um he like told this professor behind my back after I kept like say like kept like being like really blatantly disrespectful and I kept saying just like this is hurtful this is disrespectful just listen and they wouldn't and he went behind my back and told him that I was schizophrenic it's just like made it up and I'm clearly not and um also like went around and telling people that I am autistic which like I'm clearly not and uh just like it, it, it I'll tell this story later but it, like it ended up like destroying tearing my career apart and it's so so stupid it's just the stupidest BS because like all I ever try to do is just have deeper insights into things and share the beauty of that and it just like explodes in my face all of the time because people are like like nut jobs like I don't know like what is wrong with them um so anyway like 
when I shared this story on the date with the INTJ, like, he, he, like, to my surprise and, like, my chagrin, he was like, oh, like, he, like, sided with the professor. He was like, oh, like, you shouldn't be, like, disrupting class with the deeper question. Like, people are just there to learn, like, this rote memorization, and that's what they're there for. And I'm just like, that's what the whole thing that's wrong with the Western educational system. And I wasn't trying to waste time. It was something that would take, like, two minutes, like... And, um, it's just, like, weird to me, like, how he has, like, such a, like, strong sense of propriety about that, but then, like, INTJ is, like, they believe that social rules just sh should be, like, whatever, like, you want, you know, like, there's no point in, like, all of these arbitrary social rules, and I'm, like, what if something makes people uncomfortable? You know, like, what if it disrupts things? Um, like, I was telling him, like, 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 something to, like, tell about, like, the unawareness of this ENTJ boss who was accusing me of all of, like, this BS. Um, like, we were in this, like, formal lecture hall, this small formal lecture hall, and he was sitting across the aisle from me in the middle of the lecture, like, I look over and he's just like completely like taken off his shoe and he's like cradling it in his lap and he's got like his finger like all the way like down his throat like in his mouth like I don't even know like what he was thinking or doing it was just weird and uncomfortable and he like looked me like right in the eye and like it was just weird and it made me feel weird. And, like, I told this guy this, this INTJ this, and he was like, well, what's wrong with that? Like, he's, like, offended that, like, someone should ever be uncomfortable when someone's just, like, doing whatever. And I was like, got, like, some, like, extreme example. Like, what if someone were at a wedding and they're just, like, took off their pants and they're just, like, masturbating in front of, like, the whole procession and they just, like, go up to the groom and like look him in the eye and they're just like masturbating or like some just like some crazy thing he was like well you know you don't want to like spread like disease but like other than that and I just like I tried and like I couldn't like get him to concede that like there's propriety to a certain extent like I'm all for individuality and breaking the rules but like you can't just do, like, a bunch of, like, weird things that make people feel bad. Like, and, like, he seems so proper. It's just, I don't know. Like, it just, like, makes, like, no sense to me. Like, people are so... Ah, like... It's just, like, the world is just, like, a constant, like chaotic frustration I feel like I just like walk around like feeling like the only like centered like reasonable insightful person and like it's weird because like I respect everyone so much and like I always like put them above me and think that they like they have all these things that like I don't but then they end up just like like effing everything up for like the stupidest reasons and like the simplest things like don't make sense to them you can't get through to them and like they lie so so like so anyway so this guy um uh, this INTJ that I went on this date with like, he ends up, like, after all this, he, like, starts, like, attacking me and saying, like, this interaction I had in, like, this lecture hall, like, it's, like, classic signs of autism. I'm just, like, oh, my God. Like, like, I was just trying to ask a cool question. Like, like, what like why like why are you doing this like you're totally ruining 
our friendship of so many years and like I just like the thing is like someone start like I am so patient but like someone starts in just like attacking me and saying a bunch of false things that hurt like hell like I have to defend myself and then like they act like it's my fault And then, like, he started, like, making fun of me, like, using, like, talking about Jungian archetypes and stuff. And, like, it's like, you're not qualified to make any psychological statement. And I'm like, well, I have multiple degrees in psychology and I've taught psychology for years. And, like, I literally had therapy for years to deal with all the stuff that, like, came with, like, my injury and my upbringing. And, like, I don't know, like, he just ended up blocking me. And I guess, like, I'll never talk to him again. And he'll just, like, go on, like, thinking a bunch of, like, crazy hateful stuff about me. And, like, the truth is, like, I've, like, I've dealt with anxiety and depression before. And pain. And I am, through it, I'm happy and I'm centered and I'm, calm and I see things for what they are and I love people people love me like until they do something crazy but like I don't like I don't have any like negative symptoms I just do great things and just because they're not what everyone else is doing like why do I have to be attacked for that all of the time And, like, I don't know, this video is getting pretty long. Like, I don't know how much else I want to say. Like, like, like I don't know how to change, you know? Like, I can't, like, I can stop trying to, like, care for people, but I can't help caring for people. I can stop trying to get hurt by things. But when someone does something hurtful, it hurts, and I'm going to talk about it. And when something someone does something crazy that's disrupting everything, I'm going to talk about that too. And like, I just like, I, I find it to be so isolating because like, I just, I want to love everyone, but like, I feel like they're giving me this choice between like lying and hurting myself and hurting like the structure of everything and letting that like spiral out of control or just like being up front and I, like it literally makes me sacrifice everything that ever matters to me in my life and like I know it's not something wrong with me because I can explain it I can see it I can see it clearly and I feel I I know what it's like to let people just bash you and I know the pain of that I know the calm and the peace and like this glory of just maintaining yourself and your peace of mind and it's like it's just it's all so clear so like like I don't even freaking know like I'm just like th I'm this brilliant scientist and like I have like this huge heart and I like I just find myself like thinking like maybe like I just like I can't ever like use like my talents or my love I mean like like, like I have to like give up on my career and my dreams and my family and my friends and like maybe even on having children and having a family and having a soulmate because like I can't Like, I can't find people who will just, like, be, like, pure and good and reasonable and, like, let me love them and let me do good work and let me explain myself.
without just like attacking me or just like abandoning me it's so stupid to me everyone just like seems to like think that I'm like this horrible person or like there's something wrong with me or something and like I just I just feel like it's completely the opposite But, like, like, I'll tell you, like, like, I don't even know if they'll take me because, like, I had this surgery in 2012 on my neck and, like, I'm 33 now. Um, the the highest age in which you can enlist is 34 but like like I'm literally thinking about just like leaving everything behind and just like joining the military like joining like the navy or something and just like traveling and working and like being good to the people who are around me in in that community but like I'm just like I get like so bored with everyone and everything and like so fed up with all of their BS and like I'm so afraid to even pursue my dreams in science even though I'm so talented and I have these theories and ideas I need to make happen because it makes people want to destroy me and it fucking sorry it hurts it hurts so much I'm like like I wouldn't want to be another way I guess because like I wouldn't want to give up on understanding these beautiful things and having these capabilities and like having this like spiritual existence but like it just like seems so easy for everyone to just like go and like make a bunch of like nonsense out of a bunch of nonsense and just like be content with it and to me it's like everything should be so simple and so good and I do all of these simple and good things and just like they're just like seen as being like so out there and like they end up being causing so much like chaos when like they're like truly the ordered thing anyway like say what say whatever you want like i don't care if it's negative if it's positive like i want feedback like in the end, like, I guess this is about, like, me just, like, getting stuff out, but, like, like, I want to know, like, I want answers, like, I want truth, I always want that, and, like, I want to learn, like, learn how to do things better, I just, like, I feel like I'm, like, getting so late, it's getting so late in life, and, like, I've tried everything so many times, like, that I'm just, like, running out of chances, like running out of options and like running out of like hope and like I just want to be happy I just want to be free like I'll like I, I'll give love like I want to get it back but like even if it means getting hate back like I'll still give love Tell me, like, I'm just, like, feeling sorry for myself. Tell me, like, INFPs are just, like, pathetic because we just struggle. Say whatever. Thanks.